What if I told you that you could build a skyscraper with wood? Yes, wood. The same material used to build tables and chairs. Well, it's true, but for Milwaukee, constructing just another tall timber building isn't enough. They're looking to build the world's tallest wooden skyscraper as tough as the regular steel and concrete ones. But how is this even possible? Keep watching this video to find out. Now, you might be picturing a wooden cabin stacked on top of another wooden cabin and wondering how that could possibly be a skyscraper. But this isn't that kind of wood. This skyscraper will be built using something called mass timber, a modern miracle of engineering. Mass timber is a type of wood that's been layered, pressed, and then glued together in a way that makes it incredibly strong. Think of it as wood with superpowers, because it's designed to carry the same weight as steel and concrete, but it's far lighter and easier to work with. The 55-story skyscraper planned for Milwaukee will be a marvel of design and engineering. For starters, it's not just about height. It's about blending sustainability with stunning architecture. Michael Green Architecture, the team behind this project, has a track record of creating some of the most groundbreaking timber buildings in the world. Trust me, these architects know how to push boundaries while keeping an eye on what's good for the planet. As for the skyscraper, it will be a mixed-use masterpiece housing up to 750 residential units. Imagine living in a sleek, modern apartment that's part of a building making history. But that's not all. The skyscraper will also include 190,000 square foot of office space, 40,000 square feet of retail space, and even 300 hotel rooms. So whether you're looking to live, work, shop, or stay, this building's got you covered. And it's not just about what's inside. The project includes vibrant public plazas and walkways that aim to create a sense of community right in the heart of Milwaukee. But this design isn't just a vanity project for Milwaukee. It's setting an example for the world, because by using mass timber, the building will have a significantly smaller carbon footprint than traditional skyscrapers. But is timber really the best option for building something as tall as a skyscraper? Let's find out. Now, let's talk about why timber is becoming such a game changer in construction. First off, traditional building materials like concrete and steel may seem strong and reliable, but they come at a hefty price for the planet. Concrete alone is responsible for 8% of the world's carbon emissions. That's a mind-blowing figure when you think about how much concrete is used every single day. Now, timber isn't just a good alternative, it's a brilliant one, because it's not just carbon neutral, it's actually carbon storing, which makes it stand out as a powerhouse in the fight against climate change. For those who don't know what carbon storing is, allow me to explain. Trees absorb carbon dioxide as they grow. It's like nature's way of cleaning up our mess. But here's the catch. When those trees are harvested and turned into mass timber, the carbon they previously absorbed stays locked inside the wood. This means that every timber building is like a massive storage unit for carbon, keeping it out of the atmosphere where it would otherwise contribute to global warming. But that's not even the best part, because the carbon trapped in the timber stays locked away for decades, sometimes even centuries. You know what this means, right? Every timber skyscraper we build is helping to slow down climate change. But that's not all, because timber is also renewable, which is another huge win for sustainability. As long as the trees are sourced responsibly, meaning forests are managed and replanted properly, timber can be part of an endless cycle. Just imagine cutting down a tree, using it to build a structure, and then planting new trees to take its place. It's like nature's version of recycling, and it works beautifully when done right. But if you don't believe me, then check out what's going on in countries like Canada and Sweden who are already constructing timber buildings and proving this system can be highly efficient and environmentally friendly. But besides being environmentally safe, using timber to build skyscrapers has other advantages. One of the coolest things about mass timber construction is how fast and quiet it is compared to traditional methods. Because instead of pouring concrete or welding steel beams on site, Mass timber panels are prefabricated in factories. The panels arrive at the construction site ready to be assembled, almost like a giant Lego set waiting to be pieced together. This cuts down on construction time, saving developers a ton of money, and it's not just about saving time. Quicker assembly also means less disruption to the surrounding community. Just think about it, no deafening jackhammers or endless construction noise. This is because timber construction is much quieter, which makes life easier for everyone nearby. Another major benefit of timber is its natural beauty and warmth. People tend to feel more comfortable and relaxed in wooden buildings because the material has a calming effect. 
Studies even suggest that timber interiors can reduce stress and improve productivity, which is why some schools and offices are incorporating more wood into their designs. But you might be thinking, isn't wood a fire hazard? Yes, regular wood is a fire hazard, but mass timber? Surprisingly fire resistant. When exposed to flames, it forms a protective char layer on the outside that slows down burning, and in some cases, it performs even better than steel, which can weaken and collapse when exposed to extreme heat. So this building is not only innovative, but also incredibly safe. So when you hear about cities like Milwaukee planning to build towering wooden skyscrapers, remember, it's not just about breaking records, it's about creating a cleaner, quieter, and more sustainable future. Because as we know, timber isn't just a material, it's a movement, and the more we embrace it, the brighter our future looks. Sounds good, right? But the question now is, how much is Milwaukee's timber skyscraper project going to cost? Brace yourself, because the figure will blow your mind. As you can see, Milwaukee isn't just dreaming big, it's also planning smart. The city's new timber skyscrapers is not a standalone project, but part of an ambitious $700 million development designed to reshape downtown Milwaukee. You heard me right, $700 million. Mayor Cavalier Johnson's made no secret of his goal to grow Milwaukee's population to a million people. And this project is a bold step toward making that dream a reality. The idea is quite simple. Turn underused spaces into thriving hubs of activity and opportunity. The development, led by the regenerative development company Neutral, is more than just a jaw-dropping building made of wood. It's about creating a community that combines sustainable living, modern convenience, and economic growth. Because when it's all said and done, this project will include much more than the record-breaking timber skyscraper. We're talking about up to 750 residential units, which means hundreds of new homes for families, professionals, and students who want to live in a dynamic and eco-friendly urban space. But it doesn't stop there, because as we've already mentioned, the plan also includes 190,000 square feet of office space, which will provide opportunities for businesses to thrive in the heart of the city. Just imagine the kinds of startups and established companies that could set up shop in such a cutting-edge environment. And with 40,000 square feet of retail space, shoppers will have plenty of options to explore, from trendy boutiques to cozy cafes and everything in between. Not to mention, a 300-room hotel will be part of the mix, offering visitors a chance to experience the city in style while boosting Milwaukee's tourism and hospitality industries. Public spaces are also a key focus of this development. The designers didn't just think about where people live and work, they thought about how people will connect. Vibrant plazas and walkways will create areas where residents and visitors can gather, relax, and enjoy everything downtown Milwaukee has to offer. Simply put, these spaces aren't just an afterthought, they're a vital part of making the city feel alive and welcoming. Now, let's talk about what this project means on a larger scale, because Milwaukee isn't just constructing buildings, it's sending a message to the world. By aiming for a global record with the tallest timber structure, the city's saying, we're not afraid to innovate and we're committed to sustainable growth. This is more than just urban development, it's a statement of leadership in green architecture and forward-thinking city planning. On top of that, Milwaukee's showing that it's open to new ideas and investments. The project highlights the city's willingness to embrace bold initiatives that align with environmental responsibility. At a time when climate change is front and center, Milwaukee's proving that cities can grow without sacrificing sustainability, and in doing so, setting an example for other cities worldwide. In short, Milwaukee's $700 million vision is more than just building a tall wooden skyscraper. It's about creating a vibrant, inclusive, and sustainable future for the city. It's about turning dreams into reality one timber beam at a time. And if this project's any indication, Milwaukee is well on its way to achieving its lofty goals. Now, do you know the most exciting part of all this? Timber skyscrapers aren't just a cool idea for Milwaukee alone, they're quickly becoming a global trend. It's like the world's collectively realizing, hey, why not build taller and greener at the same time? Canada's leading the charge with its 40-story Canada Earth Tower, which aims to redefine how cities embrace sustainable architecture. Australia is not far behind either, with plans for a jaw-dropping 50-story timber building in South Perth. Even France joined the movement during the Paris Olympics using wooden structures for their aquatic center in Olympic Village. Clearly, this isn't just a one-time thing, it's a revolution. But why are so many places diving into timber construction? 
The answer lies in our planet's ticking clock. Climate change is forcing architects, engineers, and governments to rethink the materials we use for our buildings. Cement and steel, while reliable, are some of the biggest contributors to carbon emissions. Timber, on the other hand, is renewable, stores carbon instead of emitting it, and requires less energy to produce. It's like swapping a gas-guzzling car for an electric one. Now, let's address the obvious question. Can wood really handle the challenges of skyscraper construction? Surprisingly, yes. Thanks to advancements in engineering, mass timber is stronger and more durable than ever before. Products like cross-laminated timber and glulam are designed to handle the weight and stress of high-rise buildings while being fire-resistant and safe. Plus, timber construction often has faster assembly times and less noise during construction compared to traditional materials, making it more cost-effective and efficient. Still, there's a catch. As more cities and countries embrace timber, the demand for wood could outstrip supply. That's why visionaries like Michael Green are already thinking ahead. His firm is exploring other plant-based materials like hemp and bamboo to ensure we have sustainable options for decades to come. So, is timber the future of skyscrapers? If you look at the growing list of projects worldwide and the clear environmental benefits, the answer seems to be a resounding yes. The world's reaching for the sky, and it's doing so with wood. If you think timber buildings are cool, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We're committed to releasing two videos a week. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more visionary builds.